Tech Now TV. So today what we're going to look at is how to simply migrate your old project to the old if, to the new Flutter uh, project. So or upgrading your old project to the new what uh, Flutter dependencies and importation acceptable way. So this is pretty much very simple. So in order to follow the documentation you can check out this link i'm gonna put this below the video when i'm done so here you can simply read this and then follow the instructions but i'm gonna show you this practically okay so let's watch it uh we have ways of doing this depending on what you have in your project so if your project is a very simple one uh first if it's even complicated you can also use the one b if you have uh, other stuff you need to add but it's a very simple project you can look at the one a okay so first you need to first check this side this path to your main activity java and you're gonna find this right beneath your android folder then uh, you go you drip down to the LSRC main and then you get the what the main dot XML this one good so here in the old project you have this but in the new migration you need to exclude this and then add this one this I copied from here as you can see so the one in green is the most important one the ones in the red is not needed so if you watch your public class main public class main extend flutter activity all here is not important so in your old project you see this in there so you need to just think of this so this is how we do the migration for the main activity dot Java okay then let us see what it is one B saying one B is telling you if if you have what if you have to adapt to the new embedding API you can use this as well you see that means you can add these ones to it so so but if you don't need the new embedding api you can you can leave it simply like this here is empty here is empty and then you can have this at the top but inside here will be empty and you only do this importation but if you actually need the new embedding api in your project then you need to include these ones right so if you had existing custom platform channel handling code in your this below is an example of how to change to adapt to the what the new embedded api okay good so if it's a simple project you use the number one let's go to number two you step into your android manifest file and then uh, remove the reference to flutter what application from the application tag so where will you find that this so we go to the xml and then inside the application tag remove what the flutter application so you need to remove all this in your old project you don't need this for the migration okay simple like this you delete this line of code and then you check here mm. here it says so this is how it's gonna be means taking it out and then update splash screen behavior if you have a splash screen if you don't have a splash screen then you can leave it as such okay but if you have a splash screen then you need to remove all what metadata tags and then the keys you need to remove all this and then launch the new xml configuration desire in the drawable so this one very simple so here if you want to actually work on your splash screens as well or if you have a splash screen on your project then you can simply uh, do this you see this your older project might have a different one so let's see this is you see 
so this is apparently the same here but if you don't have the same here then you need to actually change it to the documentation one okay so i go back since i already have this in here okay that is the splash screen area okay so these are one these are the most important things you should look up to and also you need to check the application tab and then add this so inside your xml you need to add this to it the xml area uh, sorry not this project this project okay let me close this this project okay then uh, main inside no inside your manifest then you go beneath the application yes space and then uh, you add this to it just like this okay so these are this is very simple and these are the main main stuff you need to really change yeah the other ones if you have a little bit complex projects then uh, you can read the other ones and then see if it is gonna help or relate to your project but these are the main ones one adding this under your application that is your metadata and then checking your splash screen if your splash screen the string uh, styles.xml if it's not like this you need to actually look at it okay then if you create your flutter project with flutter create then you will like or uh, you will like already have a what a launch team defined then you can use this right okay so you can name this style whatever you want so this so it's basically the same and then uh, you need to make sure this side is customized or edited to suit your own okay so that is for the splash screen area and then the third most important thing is here here is removing all the red ones and then uh, adding the one in green so this is basically how we migrate our old flutter project to the new one so very simple you follow this link and then uh, you follow what i just did and then you'll be just fine all right so i'm gonna end this video if you have any challenges migrating to the new flutter project you can also send me a message or send me a comment below and i'm gonna get right back to you all right peace i'm out see ya